Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Flutter Go Router package. So this is where we are going to get started. I'm inside my main door dart. You can see we have the blank scaffold. So first of all, I'm going to create a screens folder inside a lib folder. And inside that, we need to have a couple of screens. First of all, home screen, home.dart. And also we need to add more and more screen. Let's say product.dart for product screen. And inside my home.dart, let's add this stateless widget, home screen. And let's create a scaffold type, first of all, app bar, app bar for the title text home screen and for the body we need to have the center widget with the text and it's also going to be home screen just let's make it simple and we can now copy this and paste it inside product.dart and change the class name to product product screen and let's change this home to product screen as well and now I can go to my main.dart and instead of importing scaffold to the home parameter, I can use home screen. Now if I save it now, I think it looks much better. Also, if you like, you can change the theme just to make it more professional. I don't know, I, I feel like this is much better. So now when we click on this icon button, we want to navigate to the product screen, right? So for that, we need to have Go Router. So we want to use Go Router instead of navigation, like navigation dot of context dot push, right? So first of all, we need to add the package. So to do that, we can press Command Shift P at dependency, and it's going to be Go Router. And this will install the Flutter Go Router package. You can check it in by going to pubspec.yaml. And here you can see we have Go Router already installed. And now we can now go to the material app inside my main.dart. We can simply add dot router and we can remove this home parameter. And inside my build, I can create a final Go Router, not route, but Go Router. Let's give it name Go Router. And here as well, go router, not go route, but go router. And for the routes, you can create a list for now. And inside the routes, we have to create go route. And for the pass, let's make it slash for the home screen. And, and now, so what we have to do, we have to also create the, the builder, right? So we can use the builder and it's going to be context state and this is going to be home screen. Now, inside my material app.router, I have to create a router config and here we can use go router. Now, if I save it and restart the app, you can see that we can see the home screen, right? Now, to make it, to make our code more cleaner, I want to separate this go router code to into another file so i'm gonna command x to copy and i'm gonna create another lib another folder routing and inside this routing i'm gonna create a new file app router dot dart and here i'm gonna paste it and simply import go router and also home screen and now inside my main.dart, I'm going to import Go Router. So you can remove unnecessary imports here. Everything, everything still looks the same as you can see it's working. Now we have to go to Go Router. So inside Go Route, now we need to create routes inside this Go Route. So it's going to be kind of nested, right? Routes. So I have to create a list again. So here we need to create another go route with a pass and this is going to be product but you don't have to actually specify the slash for now because we have already specified here so which is going to be home screen and now here we can simply add this product 
which is the product screens. So inside that, if you want, you can also provide the name. For example, here, let's create the enum, enum app route. For example, we need to have home. Let's say we need to have now product screen only, right? So to use this inside go router name, we can use app route dot product dot name. So now we can use builder, builder context dot state, and we need to have this. Actually, we need to have this one context dot state, and this is going to be product screen, right? Product screen. So I'm gonna save it, put some comma here. And now we can simply go to app main home home screen and here we need to add this button. So I'm gonna make this center title false. And here let's add actions, icon button. Let's make it blank for now. Let's add the icon first. Icon icons dot add add circle outline and here we go you can see the icon button so when we press this icon button we want to navigate to the product screen right so to do that we need to have go router so inside my unpressed i'm going to simply use that so to use the go router we need to actually use context context dot go name it and it's going to be app route dot product dot name and we have to by the way import this go named go router and if I save it and restart the app and if I click on this add button you can see we are going to the product screen as you can see, to use that, we are just simply using context dot go name it because we have the name product. We have created the enum product because this is going to be very useful if you add more screens later. That's why I use created app route enum. So here we are using the builder. But you can see that when I click on this, the product screen is opening to the right side, right? From here. So to make it open from the bottom, there is another way. So let's go to app router. So instead of builder, let's use the page builder. So we can simply use page builder. And for the context and state, let's use context.state. And sorry, context.state. And here we need to use material page, material page material page inside a material page we need to use the child and this is going to be product screen right now you can comment this builder so inside this page builder there is a parameter called full screen dialog you can make it true and now if i save it and restart your app and if i open this if i click on this icon button you can see now it's opening from the top from the bottom right but before it was opening from the from the right side to the left as you can see now it's opening from the bottom but if i comment this and uncomment this builder save it and restart the app if i click on this you can see it's now opening from the left side here you can see so this is the difference so based on Based on your preference, you can use either of them, either a builder or a page builder. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next videos.